it's something like 80 or 90 percent of people in the U.S. have never seen the Milky Way. And once you do, I mean, it changes you forever. My name is Vincent Ledvina. My hometown is Maplewood, Minnesota, and I'm a physics major. Looking up at the night sky and you really don't know um, what's out there and there's so much to explore. Uh, there's so much we don't know and there's so much opportunity to learn more. I was always into the outdoors. I was always camping with my family and you know, outside just was always an outdoors guy. But once I got a camera, I realized that I could take photos of nature and then share that with people and you know, thinking how can I go beyond just taking the photos? Can I you know, share this passion for photography and the outdoors with other people? And YouTube was the perfect way to do that, was to make these short instructional videos uh, for people to get started with photography and you know, hopefully share the same experience that I had. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, Appalapse. Applaps is a channel focused on photography education. In this two minute tutorial, I will be showing you my workflow to edit Milky Way images. From my own personal experience, I've, I've been out uh, taking just normal Milky Way photos with my friends, and then all of a sudden we'll see Aurora. And I check the data, you know, like the space weather data coming from satellites, and it's not, there's, there's, there's not supposed to be Aurora out. So that was also part of my, you know, initial curiosity was, well, we can see Aurora in North Dakota a lot you know, more so than people expect. If this little YouTube live stream can show you Aurora, well, if it's out, you can just drive five minutes west of campus or five minutes in any direction and view it. UND, they're really, really good about getting students involved with research um, right away. So I actually did what's called an RU, which stands for Research Experience for Undergraduates, uh, doing really rigorous solar physics research um, at the National Solar Observatory in Boulder. And there I was really exposed to the entire field of solar physics and space weather. And also I was exposed to the fact that space weather can really affect us here on Earth. So the Aurora camera is kind of like blending all my passions. Thankfully I was able to partner with a couple different organizations um, and get funding from UND to get parts to build the camera and to install it. I already had a passion for helping others, for educating, and then I also had a passion for physics and science, so it's the perfect you know, amalgamation of those two. Sometimes I have to step back and it's, and it's, and it's pr pretty cool. You know, I feel, feel really proud of myself that I've been able to make an impact. 